I'm reacting to absolutely nothing. I really, really appreciate all the love we've received on the vlogs. Guys, of course, we do reaction videos and vlogs, but what we don't do is show you the behind the scenes of Pride and Pinion. I'm gonna start a new series where I'm gonna show you all the behind the scenes at Pride and Pinion from my perspective. So this is an addition to our normal vlogs. Before people get angry, this is an extra, this is additional. And we're gonna do this on a second channel. So this new style vlog is gonna be on my second channel, Nico's Life. Make sure you subscribe to the second channel. Link is in the description and I'm gonna give away five watches, five God tier watches to five people that comment on the video now. A very good morning from a very cold Northern Ireland. It is f***ing Baltic. My first day back from America and we're gonna get straight back in. We're gonna get stuck in immediately. I am so happy I'm finally driving to this beast again. I haven't been able to drive this for about two months because I lost this bloody thing. I literally lost the garage remote. But after about two months, I'm finally able to drive it again. Hope it starts. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Still quit smoking, which is brilliant. So I don't know what this doing here. I don't want this. I don't want any cigarettes close to me in any way, shape or form. Because the temptation is tough enough. There we go. Let's hope it starts. Ah, oh, brilliant. Only home really for a day, to be honest. Because I need to go to Germany and Dubai tomorrow. But I'm happy I'm home and I see the baby and see, and see the missus and stuff. And I think that that's the most important thing. We have a bit of a panic situation in the office, to be honest, as well. So I'm delivering three watches in Dubai. A AP Royal Oak 15400, Teton Daytona, and a Pepsi on a Jubilee. But one of my colleagues has sold one of the watches and hasn't replaced that watch yet, which is unacceptable in every way possible. So he has to be flying to London today and back today because I'm leaving to, like tomorrow morning at like 3 a.m. So we need to deliver that watch, you know. That wasn't really well planned, to be honest. We weren't happy with that, but f it. There's enough challenges to overcome. Challenges are there to be overcome. Why do I always lose everything? Let me get this remote out of the way and let me bring you guys with me on a day of absolute craziness. Because today is gonna be absolutely f nuts. First stop, David James Care, no bother, son. Need to get me out for Dubai and Germany. So I've got a coat, look at that. Nice coat, some trousers and a t-shirt. Is th a triple XL coming soon because I mean, I'm a fit f I mean, I need it. I need a big, bigger one, but I'm also working on my way to be fair. So that, that's about it, but look at this sh Unreal. What a shop. Got this t-shirt, by the way, it's quite cool. Belfast boy, represent, no bother. Then I quickly need to get, grab a suit. That's the next stop, grab my suit and then uh, race to the office because we have a meeting at one o'clock. Call and we're filming today at two. So it's a bit crazy. And I think our problem that Tim brought us in by selling a watch, which was already sold, I think that is solved by now. So we're actually gonna give the customer instead of a 2022, which he initially bought, bought a 2023. So a newer watch, better watch, and that's what the customer if you make a mistake, you rectify it. That's how we roll. And then that's me back. Hello? Did you miss me? No? They're asking what I'm doing. How are you? How are you? Well, how are you? Back at it, son! Some new gear, pool table. I actually was hoping that the pool table would be gone because it was dog shit. So tell me the story. What's what happened there? So basically, this watch went with UPS and it was claimed as lost and now it has just arrived so a customer sent us a watch yep. right which we purchased or what which we took exactly. on consignment and uh, ups claimed it as lost or we claimed it as lost yep. because the watch never arrived and our watch finally arrived so ups was being a dick. this is nearly a month later that's bizarre that's not good enough also i went on to the ups tracking earlier and it hadn't updated the tracking i was on the phone with them today yes today literally about an hour and a half ago now luckily we got the watch the watch is not lost the first time that ever happened to me to be honest meeting's done sorry i couldn't share that with you guys because there's some mad stuff happening now I'm racing together with steven to get two sim cards for the sales boys steven hola como estas and then we're gonna look at the new office. Stephen, if you take this office, are you gonna be a window cleaner then? Yeah, this is bizarre. Views are absolutely stunning though. Possibilities are endless to grow the business and to basically expand the business because that's what we're doing. Jewelry, I'm trying to find a place to make a proper showroom. Next to having the vault where we sell watches, obviously. It's just important to be able to see growth. Now in this, we can actually integrate our e-commerce business selling watches online. Of course, the shop, but the shop is separate from here. Our jewelry department, which we're trying to build a media company, the YouTube studios, Gautier, 
the brand, the clothing brand, everything could be on one floor. And for that, I'm actually really liking this space. It's unusual, but the views are very, very inspiring. Are you inspired yet? No? Whatever, talking sh unbelievable. This is actually the reason why I'm going to Dubai. A company called Hype Drop bought these three watches. Pepsi, two-tone Daytona, and a AP Royal Oak 15400. This was actually the Pepsi that uh, a colleague of mine, Tim, has sold while this was actually reserved. So we got Hype Drop a 2023 one instead of a 2022, which is better for the customer, of course. But Hype Drop is a company where you can win all luxury things, like I think cars as well, holidays and that kind of thing, but also watches. So the company has bought this and I personally am gonna deliver these watches to the winners in Dubai. These guys also won a trip to Dubai and these three watches. So that's insane. And I'm very, very happy, very, very proud that we do business with Hype Drop because that helps us as a small business as well, of course. But before I go to Dubai and deliver these watches to the winners, I'm actually uh, going to Dusseldorf to deliver a watch to Constantine, the owner of Brabus. Hello, Tim, you sorted out the Pepsi in the end? Done. So basically tomorrow morning, I'm being picked up by my driver, Jim, at 3 a.m. in the morning to be at the airport, Dublin airport at 5 a.m. Check in for a flight that leaves to Dusseldorf at 7 a.m. 10 a.m. arrive in Germany, spend about six hours there, business, and then I'm traveling back to Dusseldorf airport to travel to Dubai. So that's the craziness. And I only have a couple of hours with the family. A proper work-life balance is probably one of the most difficult things ever. To give you an idea. I have been traveling for 11 days, been away from home just home for one day and I promised my missus to spend some time with her and the newborn my son and I would only be in the office in the morning but if I look at the time now it's already getting dark as you can see it is like 10 past 5 that is the difficult bit when running your own business listen I love it I wouldn't change it for the world and also she wouldn't change it for the world because it gives us possibilities that we would have never had but it's not easy because tonight in the morning 3 a.m being picked up to be brought to the airport i barely have 10 hours of time that i can spend with my family it's difficult but this is me not not complaining it's it's worth it it's absolutely worth it the hustle mate the real real hustle never in the world did i think it would be possible for me to own a ferrari or to drive one at least Hard work made that possible, you know? Seven days a week, no exceptions. Belfast is beautiful today. It's cold, but beautiful. Hello? There she is. Hi, dog. Dog one. Where's the other? Dog two. Jesse, Benji, I did f up today. I was supposed to be here and spend time after being away for so long, and then work happened. There he is, look at that. That's the wee man. What a beautiful wee boy. Very, very lucky. That's what we do it all for. That's why I say sometimes that my life is not mine anymore. It's not about him, it's about family stuff, but we have to work for that. And this is the reality. He has more bottles than I have drinks. He eats a lot, looks like me. Oh, babe. Oh, shit. Daddy's life. Yeah. That was a lot of, lot of milk, wasn't it? Oh. Yeah, my bad. Are we gonna smile? Are we gonna do smiles? That's what it's all about, isn't it? All the smiles and the puke and the whatever it is. That's why we work so hard. And unfortunately, I can only spend a few hours with you, but it will all be worth it. What a man. Oh, uh, you're the most beautiful, handsome boy in the world. Wondering what your first watch will be. Ooh, look at that. I'm also gonna have to choose the watches, which I'm gonna bring with me on this travel. Every trip I do, I choose different watches to bring with me. Every trip is different. What am I actually gonna bring on this trip and why? You you are the cutest. Uh, it's hard to believe that he's only 11 weeks old. That's my guy, son. This is why I do what I do. This wee man. It's not for me anymore. My life is not mine anymore. It's yours. Finished packing and unpack. The boss finished packing as well. My task is then to choose the watches, the watches I am gonna bring. Next to the watches, the winners win, right? In Dubai, which I need to deliver. Remember the, the winners of Hype Drop? These three, there's one here. This is actually really cool watch rolls. We sell them at Pride and Pain. Unbelievable quality. You also get a wee pouch with it, which you can just bring for traveling if you're just bringing one watch. So obviously I'm bringing these three. I'm also going to Germany, that's the first stop. And into Germany, I'm gonna deliver this incredible 5231. The Glosane Enamel World Timer. Unbelievable rare watch. Funny enough, that's the same as my personal watch. Obviously, I'm choosing this one to bring with me because I'm delivering that watch. Next to that, I think it's very cool to bring my new watch, my new day date. This is all factory set, by the way. Absolutely unreal. Beautiful watch in a light. When I'm in Dubai, this is the stuff I want to wear. So when I travel,
travel, I always consider the place I'm going to. I'm not, I don't know much about Dusseldorf, but I'm always around people where it's always secure. So that means that I can bring a big boy watch. In Dubai, Dubai is always safe. So I can wear a reshop meal, which I'm there for also bringing. Really summery because Dubai is of course sunny. So I'm bringing this watch as well. So selection one, bringing this watch because of Constantine, because I sold him the same watch and it's cool to bring mine. The reshop meal Army 1102, my platinum day day. I think I'm also bringing my music, the watch that I bought to celebrate a million subscribers. Now I would like to change the strap on this and put the, the, the Tiffany blue or the baby blue strap on this. And I think I have that strap here. Very easy to be replaced, done in literally two seconds. So I'm gonna do that. And then something else quirky, that's this. There's actually a story behind this watch. This is the Bamford, the Snoopy. I remember Constantine, when he bought the Patek, that he inquired about this watch, if I, if I would be able to get one. I checked with George, and George had two left. And because we already have the same Patek Philippe, because he bought the same as I have, I thought I'm gonna buy this one as well. So Constantine bought one, and then I bought the last one. So there's two watches in our collection that are actually the same. So I thought that was such a cool thing, and therefore I'm bringing this watch as well. Just a quirky wee watch. I really, really like that. There's a lot of boxes I'm bringing, obviously. Have to check in luggage, but you know what? It is for the best. Look at that. No wee man. Hey, Bobby. It is currently 9.30 in the evening. My driver picks me up at three. That means that I have less than less than five hours sleep because I need to wake up a bit earlier. It's gonna be a short night and I have to be on the top of my game. This is important. This is what my clients expect from me. Have a lovely night. Sleep well wherever you are over the world. I really, really appreciate the support. I really appreciate the love, but this is Nico Leonard, out.